Now we will show the task node. For it, we will create a new folder with a new process definition which we will call Task Workflow. We define a start box, end box, and task node, and we connect it with transactions. We select task node and create a new task. In the assignment we will define a unique actor OKM admin. The user OKM admin will have assigned this task. We configure the deployment files GPD and image file. Now we will create a form with a submit button which will be linked with the task node. We should remember to add forms dot XML to deployment files. We deploy workflow. Now we execute the workflow and in this case the task node has been assigned to the OKM admin user.
we create another user Now we will try pooled actors. This is used to assign task node to a group of users. Now we choose the pooled actors and we write the users separated by commas. We deploy the workflow We check the deployed workflow. We execute the workflow. We check there are pending tasks to be assigned which have not been directly assigned to a user. For example, we log in with another user and will check the same. The idea is that there is a user group which can get this unassigned task. If we check the workflow administration, we observe that there is a list with available users which can be assigned to this task. From administration, we can assign the task to some user. Now the user assigns himself the task. Now we will demonstrate how to assign the task node assigned to the user who started the workflow. For this, we should create a slim lane which must be called initiator. This is a name reserved for this case. This must be defined in start node and task node assignment. The idea is that in start node the user is stored in slim lane variable and is reused in task node. Now we can deploy the workflow. We run the workflow and we show the task node is assigned to the same user who started the workflow. 
Now we test with another user and check the behavior. Now we will test the general case in which the slim lane is used. We create a new task node and we select pooled actor slim lane type. This will be used in task node 1 and task node 2. The idea is in task node 1 some user executes task node and then the same user will execute the task node 2. For this, we will create a slim lane called slim lane 1 with pooled actor type and we will define two users, OKM admin and Josep. Then we assign to task node 1 and task node 2 We deploy the workflow. We execute the workflow. The user who executes task node 1 is automatically assigned to task node 2. The function of the, of the slim lane is to store the user who executed a task during the workflow process. This information can be reused in another workflow task. Now we can reproduce the example with another user.